go back to the walkthrough? I was staring at this door the whole time. Can you believe it? I can believe it. So what is this? It's a yellow choo-choo. So, it's got some arrows. Yeah, the yellow's got the arrows in them, so... If you need arrows, keep destroying those yellow ones. It'll keep respawning, probably, and here's some magic for you if you'd like it. I do believe a boss is incoming here, so, uh... Might want to stock up if you don't have stuff. Just saying. <laughs> so let's just open this up here and uh oh, uh oh, don't don't destroy those pots on the sides of the room just yet. Just look up the ceiling and yeah, when you guy gotta get, get the right camera angle. There's our boss. Oh no! And I have like the most reckless strategy. Ever I'm defeating this guy quickly. <laughs> but anyway, this is no oh, no I, I want I want to get the tattle. Well, I guess I'll have to wait. <laughs> but here's my strategy. Just spin 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 spin. They don't they don't give you that much damage. That's why I'm spinning. <laughs> they just want to get rid of all these bubbles, basically. Come on. Get rid of the bubbles! Well, as many bubbles as you possibly can here. Bubble, bubble, bubble! Toil and trouble! Yeah! Ooh. Can I finally alt target that beast? Maybe. Maybe. I can only. It's still only target those bubbles, huh? Well, anyway, I need arrows because, you know, as per Zelda tradition, you gotta. You gotta shoot the eye with your arrows. You know, it's just, just how things work. And once you have enough bubbles away from it, you'll be able to do. Oh! You'll be able to do so. I uh, just kind of wait for it here. Well, I can do that too, I guess. Oh! Dang it! <laughs> Most bubbles. There's so many bubbles. The bubbles are the worst. I snapped. <laughs> and the reason why I said not to hit the pots is because they have supplies and stuff, so... If you, if you need to refill, that's an option. Alright, come on, open your eyeball. Oh. <laughs> so every time I want to aim at it, the bubble goes right to it. There we go. <laughs> I'll be able to actually L target it when uh, it drops to the ground. Let's just put it that way. And then I'll be able to give you its name officially. <laughs> Along with the tattle. Eh, yeah, well. Yeah, I like to give the enemy names after I give the tattles because then I get the description and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> All the bubbles! All the bubbles! They're gone! Yes! Yes! Bye bye bubbles! And yeah, now it's now it's angrily moving around the room. And what you wanna do here is, well, I suppose I could do it now. Its name is Wart! But to get rid of the spheres that get shield the main body, you can attack the eye. And you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to check that until you got rid of the bubbles anyway, so that doesn't really help. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is stick in the corner. This is similar to the whiz robe strategy. And just wait for it to face you. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's over. <laughs> so it's really the bubbles that are... that I'm the most reckless with, basically. Because it, it just makes things so much faster. And I have a fairy anyway, so big whoop. Alright, now we get a dungeon item, and it's another variety of arrows! It's the ice arrow! We can freeze enemies and objects! Remember those Octa Rocks? Why do I sound like a game show host? I don't know! But yeah, the Octa Rocks, you can freeze them and now get over to that central platform. So let's go ahead and head out here. I, you know, I, I kind of wanted to have the bunny hood on, in a way, because of the whole issue of, you know, speed and everything like that with the clock, but at the same time, I have to keep going in and out of my inventory. I forgot to check if there's fairies in here. But yeah, I have to keep going in and out of my inventory whenever I need to switch items, because the bunny hood takes up one space on those 3C buttons, so it's not really the most practical of things to do. Yeah, at least not when you're not traveling out in the field. Like, in dungeons and stuff like that, you can... Yeah, you basically have to stick with what you got in your inventory, but otherwise, when you're out in the field, you can use the bunny hood or Goron or whatever to get through things rather quickly. So, about those ice arrows. So, no, don't touch. 
No touch. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go and... Put... Oops, that's right, I'm wearing that mask. I'm gonna go and put that on thusly, then. Because I can't take off the mask in the water for some reason. And we are going to... Shoot! Voila, and they make a perfect floating platform! I'm a game show host again. Oh, no you don't. You're not knocking me off. So here's another one of these things. I don't know which way you push it or pull it. So this one's a push from the angle that I'm at. All oh, right, because yeah, the flow. See the arrow on the uh, pipe? Yeah, you want to line up the arrow to the pipe. And it's a permanent thing until you reset time. So basically, you know, once you do that, you've done what you needed to do. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm, I can now go back to, uh, oh, Zora Controls, uh, Zora Controls, <laughs> you now go back over to this room, and, uh, I do believe go up to the higher one, and then we now have access to that upper door, and I'll show you how we have access to the upper door here, because... If you go up here, uh, I gotta take this off, obviously, and uh, first let's hook shot over to the chest, it's a little bit quicker, via the power of your ice arrows, oh no, no, I, I'm doing the press the wrong button thing again, I shoot in the water, you can make platforms appear, look at that, oh shoot, but it's gotta be deep enough in the water for you to make a platform, yeah. <laughs> Although, if you hit it, head into it at too shallow, shallow of an angle, it won't actually work. And that's probably going to annoy me later. But anyway, we now have access to this room. And this duder here, this is uh, just a blue choo-choo. It doesn't have anything inside it, so just a blob of water. Now, what could you do with a blob of water? Mm, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> Just lead it over here, turn it into a block. You can push that block around as well if you'd like, but you don't really have to do or anything like that. You just kind of... Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, cuts... <laughs> Saved by the cutscene. Yeah, that blob of water, you can push around after you freeze it. And then uh, you can just push it next to the platform and have a happy day at pushing that switch. Um, I'll do that. And I, oh, actually, I need, there's barrels in here, that's right. I just want to see if there's any fairies. No, I guess not. So, let's just destroy the room, because why not? And I do believe they'll defrost over time, so let's just see if that ha Oh, yep, it defrosted. Okay. So, by the way, remember, it's, it's a choo-choo, so your punches will do nothing to the choo-choo. But it's not like you have to defeat it anyway. In fact, if you do defeat it... Um, it'll just respawn anyway, because you need this thing to get up there. <laughs> so, if you kill it, it's just gonna respawn back. I think it's over here somewhere. Uh, let's just see for kicks. Where does it pop into? Just turn the camera to get as much... Oh, it's right in the middle of the room, okay. So yeah, it doesn't give you anything. There's no reason to kill it. It's just there to be your platform. Okay, so now that I open up... I should say... Yeah, open up the water flow. I was going to say open up the switch, but no, 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 it's, it's, it's the water flow that I'm talking about here. What I want to do now is go all the way back to that beginning room, and... Ah! You! Out of my way. See, the water is now flowing through this pipe, and I was holding that R button way too long. See, it's flowing through the pipe, and uh, that red pipe, if you recall, is in the very first room of dungeon. So that means something else changed in said room, and thus I am going to go up to said room and get myself set up there somehow. I forgot which... Oh, it's up there, so I gotta use the powers of the fan blades. Well, actually turbines, excuse me. And I'm going to wait a little bit longer just so I don't plop myself in the water. There we go. I was going to dive in the water because there's no platform there. Oh, this isn't the one. Well, I mean, I guess I could go through there, but I want to do stuff back in this room first. Hold on. Oh, shoot. And I'm just being led all over the place. Uh, 
Oh, I could use the ladder, actually, over on that one. I forgot that that side has ladders, but the other one doesn't. So, whoa, don't, don't bash your face into the ground. <laughs> it's a puzzle just going back, I swear. Okay, so the reason why I want to go back this way is because, see the red pipe? See the red pipe? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, hookshot targets. And, uh, um, wait, actually, I'm gonna actually go back over to that other side with the, uh, with the water. I just want to see for sure if I am doing stuff, like, too quickly here, because I, I don't want to have to switch the water direction too many times. <laughs> just put it that way. So let's just go up here instead before I do the water switcher roo back in the uh, first room and see what's up in here. Um, I think this is. I think I just want to kill you first off. But I think I need to use the ice arrows to get up there for one thing. Uh, but I think there's a fairy. Yes, there is. So, down we go, because I believe they're all underwater, if I recall correctly. Yo, oh. I said, yo. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, Zora controls. Uh, uh, somehow I missed with the first one, but the second one hit. Maybe because the pots are just ever so slightly higher? No, they are not. I have no idea that. Actually, I think the fairy in this room was in that chest way up at the tippy top, if I recall correctly. So I could actually just, uh, kind of, you know, just if I'd like to, just kill off those and make things easier while I'm uh, flailing around in this room. And then begin my trek. Now, this is obviously easier when you have more magic power, <laughs> because uh, you're going to be going through magic relatively quickly when you're doing this. So, yeah, let's just kind of do this as smoothly as possible. Oh, see that water apparently wasn't, uh, can I jump to it from here? No, I can't. I'll freak in. Let's see, these, these platforms, they disappear after a while, and that thing, uh, yeah, it's zapping. <laughs> there we go, and you can't, you can't shoot while you are in the water. That's why I was trying to be a little bit quick there. Um, what am I doing? I am doing this. <laughs> That's what I am doing. There we go. And... Um... Okay, that was kind of useless. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was okay for resupplying, you know, you know but... Uh, oh, shoot. He just did a dive into the water instead of jumping onto the platform. I gotta hurry this up here because I'm being trapped. Too late, now I can't do it. <laughs> it's too close to me. I wasn't able to shoot into the water anyway, it just wasn't that... It wasn't the right angle. Let's see if I can make a example out of this duder here though, like maybe I can... Uh, no. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> I'll wait for him to come relatively close to me and freeze him. Oh, you can kill him off like that. I thought it just freezes him, but I guess that makes sense. Oh, end of the first half of the first day is incoming. And this is... See how much magic you use doing this? <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I just want to jump. There we go. Uh, this one I pull, right? Yeah, from that angle. Because I see the arrows on the pipes. Voila! Ding! <laughs> There's, there's something else in this room that you don't want to skip out on. Um, there's a hookshot target up there. So what you want to do here is, uh, I think you're going to need to make a, a platform in the water, but maybe not. Um, uh, yeah, that's not the one. I think that's the one, because we because if we just hit this one with, with the red rupee, we'll get the red rupee, but we'll plop in the water, so it's, not po so it's pointless. This one, however, I think is above solid land, so that is the one that I'm going to be trying for. Oops, wrong button again. I'm going to try shooting all the way over there, and then running over to it. Maybe this is what I should have did for the other platforms, like shoot at it from a distance, and then climb up with a hook shot. That would also save me on magic. I think this is the correct one. 
It is! Okay, and this contains a fairy. Open says me, you sucker. <laughs> so I guess if you want to get the fairies, you can, you can get the fairies too. That's a that's an op. I mean, and not, if you want to get the rupees, you can get the rupees too, as that's an option. But eh, I think I'll. Pff, I'm not in, not in Zora form. I think I am okay with just leaving it there. By the way, when you I forgot um, that when you attack those with a Zora, it 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 seems like constantly electrify itself or something like that. It looks a lot more threatening, but it's still not all that dangerous unless you're in a really tight area. <laughs> There we go. All right, so this room, I wait. Hold on. I just wanna, just wanna be sure here if this room is cleared out. Yes, it is. Okay. Now I can go back to the other side and switch the water flow. Whoa, jeez. And I got across here a whole lot smoother than I did the last time. That's for sure. So now what I wanted to do here, because this water spout is now spouting. See the red one there. That one, yeah. What we can do is hook shot up over here, get on top of this one, and then turn on this water. Why turn on this water, though? Well, you'll see. Well, actually, you won't see it until I turn off the yellow one. Like, remember, I, I turned off the yellow one in the last part by mistake. Well, <laughs> it's gonna have the same result here because they're both gonna be spewing at that turbine. That's gonna stop those platforms off to the side. So now, basically, uh, one, once we turn off the yellow one, it'll now be spinning in the opposite direction, which has an effect of changing the direction of the water in the middle room. You know, that one that I had trouble getting across the ladders and stuff like that for some reason. See that? See that? Oh yeah, look at that! And now, that means I can visit the other rooms in that middle room. Oh, yes! Oh, and by the way, I should actually go up using this platform at least once just to show you what's on this platform. There's a couple of rupees, but there's also a skull to lock. Yeah, I tried to get past it, it didn't really work. <laughs> that is okay with me, though. Wah! Alright. Uh, I shouldn't have been using my magics. Anyway, I gotta go back over to that middle room now, hopefully without any sort of Skulltula interference. Uh, let's see if one will... Oh, okay, I'm safe here. <laughs> Just the... Uh, what?! Why didn't you do a longer jump?! Link, you're an idiot! Don't you know what we're aiming for?! <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> and with the clock a-tickin'. Well, that's just just putting more and more pressure on us. <laughs> All right, let's make, let's just try and kill this off. I guess I I know I didn't switch my arrows again, it was, but just kind of just kind of moving along here. <laughs> Hopefully, I can find some uh, um, magic jars somewhere around here. I think I'll get some whenever I need some. But. Put this on, and now let's go in the water, because now, remember we were going in the, um, the counterclockwise direction, now it's going clockwise, which means we can now go in other rooms, such as that one there, um, there's another one closer down to the bottom, I do believe, well, I'm just gonna go in this one here, and, oh, there's that, yeah, that's the room with the pot with the fairy that baffled me long ago in that other series that I had. But I know how to get it now. In fact, I already got it. <laughs> okay. And obviously, I still got to go back to the other room for the uh, boss key, for one thing. And uh, yeah, so I'll have to reverse the uh, the water again, probably in the future anyway, if I recall correctly. So not that big of a deal. And I just like to. Oh, I just like to switch this out. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see what's in here really quick. Oh, there we go, magic. See, I told you I would get magic. <sighs> I told you I'd get magic when I need it. I keep forgetting to take off the mask before I go into my menu screen. And... Actually... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I will find this water area very useful as a human. Actually, also, looking at the time, 
I think I should probably end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I explore the second half of this dungeon, I suppose you could say. <laughs>